Did that play work out exactly how you drew it? Nope. <laughs> nope. I was, it was a duck. It was a, it was a loop, and it was pinned down for D.O. Um, it was supposed to hit Elliot. Elliot was supposed to hit D.O. with probably four seconds left, and he was supposed to go to work. Uh, we had a miscommunication, and then Juwan did what he needed to do. He isolated, took it to the paint, drop, you know, drew a defender. And <laughs> uh, Chris Udofia, there you go. Fade away. Knockdown. That was pretty special. That's the, I think that's the first game winner in the history of the Santa Cruz Warriors. Right? First buzzer beater in Santa Cruz Warriors history. Yes, there you go. That's great. I mean, buzzer beater aside, 12, 16 <coughs> points, 12 rebounds for Udofia by far his best game. What did he do so well? I think he... he He's been really frustrated because he's been fouling out a lot. Um, and he and I took a about a five-minute break just to sit down and talk. And I told him he needed to just take a deep breath. He played, like The one thing that I love about him is how hard he plays. But then the one thing that is difficult about him is that he plays hard. You know, he's just out of control. And tonight he took a deep breath. His pace was a little bit more, I don't know, uh, fluid, I guess, is the best way to describe it. And he took advantage of... of of, uh, of his of his opportunity, he did a great job. Two plays before the game winner, Juwan Staten hit that jumper, tie it up. Yeah. I don't think that was the play that was supposed to run either. Yeah. What was going through your mind at that point? You no, know, we got we got a, a little bit of an issue where um, the ball's sticking. Uh, if you notice, you watch our offense, the ball's not getting to the second side very often, and that's been an issue for me uh, in the film and in practice. Uh, and it's it was a it was a problem tonight. If we move the ball and get it side to side, maybe it's not as close. You know, maybe we have a bigger lead. Maybe we don't, but statistics say we'd have a bigger lead if we if we shared the ball a little bit or moved it side to side. We shared it. We had 34 assists on one on four turnovers, 31 on four. But um, you know, we're doing a lot a lot of isolation stuff, and that's not my style. I don't. I'm not really into that. Um, so I'm glad we won, but we have a lot to work on. Any extra preparation, or rather? Does the preparation change knowing that Bryce Cotton gets a call up and you're preparing a certain way? No, no not really. Um, no, it's just like on this level, we prepare the same way every day, every game, and it's full preparation because this, that's what they deserve. That's what they need. Like we don't cut corners or do anything, you know, um, special because a team is not quite as talented. We it stays the same all the time. Your thoughts on Cameron Barristow? I know he had a rough shooting game, but did some nice things out there. It really looked like you know, he had some NBA moves. Well, the one thing about Cameron is he, he knows his positioning well. Um, he's strong. Um, he can really move um, in the post. I'm not, I'm not saying he's like going to go out there and cross guys up or anything like that, but he can move within his own space. and um, He's probably going to be much better tomorrow. Um, sets good screens. I mean, he set that screen on Elliott when uh, McCamey hit that jumper off that baseline out. That was a big play for them. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I thought for his first D-League game, he was, he was fine. He'll be better tomorrow, for sure. Does the focus change at all with the back-to-back, -back, um, getting a taste of them, knowing what they're all about up close? Do you, do you strategize differently, or what's the focus? Yeah, the focus now is understanding that this team, I mean, they get to the third, to the fourth, to the fifth side like on a consistent basis and you have to guard 45 feet of space you got to guard the whole width of the floor and um, that's hard and we had breakdowns the guys got open shots a couple a couple misses um, I think Jarrell Eddie probably had his worst shooting night of the year um, you know credit that to Elliot and, and, and some of our defensive stuff but um, we got to be prepared to guard 24 seconds and you don't have to do that necessarily all the time in the D-League and this team is really good at that